Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a quick review of the Lost Horizon self-inflating air mattress that I got. Uh, we got it mostly for the rooftop tent, All right? Boom. And the mattress that comes in it ain't that great. If you're a big fat guy like myself, you need a little bit more, a little, little bit more, everything. So anyway, I'm going to pop this up in here real quick, show you guys how it works and let you know my opinion of it. So here it is in the tent. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this is a 23-0, uh, 72 inch uh, walkabout. Got the skylights open. We took it out to Tennessee last weekend and had to put it away when it was still wet and uh, frost on it, so I'm airing it out. Anyway, so this is it here, right? It's almost the size of a full, almost the size of a queen mattress. I think it's like four, 40 it's like four foot three inches wide so definitely big enough for two people uh on the other side of the ports that you use to inflate it let me show you those. so each side comes with these two ports and to inflate the mattress you have the port like so and then to deflate it you simply push flip it around and now air is coming out instead of going in um and then when you're done you just turn this back on and boom uh, when you inflate it the first time it takes a little while for this to inflate itself if you want to help it out the bag that comes with the air mattress has a fitting on the end you simply go here plug this in to let me zoom in here a little bit for you plug this in to the opening Hear it click. I can do it with one hand, which I cannot. Hang on. So I got that put in. And all you do is the bag opens just like that, right? And then you fold that bag up and you compress the air that's in the bag into the tent. Let me see if I can do this while recording to show you guys. So the bag's open, you wrap it up, and you push that air in. Just like that, you're done. You pop this out. Close this. This little turns. And there you go. So I slept on it one time, and this is the first time in a while that I did not wake up after sleeping in this tent. Completely miserable. Um, let me hop up in here and we'll show you more okay, about so I'm it. I'm up here in the tent. The mattress is soft, right? So it's like an air mattress, but it has this foam top to it. It's really, really nice. Um, I don't think I have any complaints with it, really. I mean, it's a bit of a pain in the ass to put up, but, you know, it's an air mattress. What do you, what are you going to do? What do you expect, right? So, anyway, if you have a 72 inch like I do, I have the mattress all the way up against the one side and have ample room for where I normally put my heater or anything else. You've got plenty of room over here. To put whatever you want so i think it's a good uh, good fit for this tent and if you have anything close to this you're gonna love it one thing i don't like about it is i wish it came with some kind of small vacuum that sucked the air out my only drawback for a uh, air mattress like this you got to climb up in the tent you got to compress the mattress down a few times get the air out and you got to roll it up you got to do all this in the tent or you got to put it on the ground so if it came like with a small rechargeable battery powered um, vacuum that just sucked the air out I would pay, I'd pay whatever they want for it. Okay, so let's talk pricing. I think I got this mattress for 60 bucks on Amazon. Um, well worth it. Like I said before, when you're when you're a big boy and you get up in that tent and go to sleep, that mattress it comes with is just too, it's too hard, it doesn't support you enough and you wake up in pain. So um, this thing here is much, much, much better. Uh, we'll definitely be taking the tent out more now that we have this mattress. Um, so if you guys have any questions about this thing, let me know. I'll do my best to answer them. Put them down in the comments. And we will see you in the next video.